We are talking about the short film Occurrence at Mills Creek. This one is written and directed by Don Swanson and stars Betsy Lynn George. Now this is a 2019 short film that runs just under 20 minutes or so and is actually a kind of proof of concept movie for a full length feature which is coming in 2020 which will kind of expand upon the story. And this also stars uh, some of the same cast and the same director and stuff. So uh, what is the story of this one? So it's a kind of classic ghost story in a lot of ways. Um, but with a kind of an interesting twist. I'm obviously not going to spoil it for you. So essentially it focuses on this kind of small family. And um, it, it, it occur occurs at a time where there is, has been a death of uh, the youngest child. This kind of 15 year old girl. And... Uh, the movie kind of points to an accident, uh, ultimately, where she kind of lost her life and, you know, her family grieving and stuff like that. And we kind of, um, we have the kind of the point of view of kind of the dead girl, almost, as a kind of a supernatural uh, being. Uh, and as the movie kind of, or well, the short film kind of progresses, we kind of learn more about her relationship, in particular with her sister, uh, and obviously how her passing kind of came to be. And... Things might not necessarily be how, what they kind of seem. Um, so that's kind of your basic uh, pr kind of premise of a short film. So a short film is difficult to judge compared to a obviously a, a normal uh, movie because these are made for next to kind of no money really. And like I said, a more of a proof of concept. So rather than kind of giving it a rating, I'm just going to give my thoughts on on a uh, on what I think. So the the idea here, I think, is very strong. Um, the, we kind of have a point of view uh, almost from the kind of the uh, the dead girl, if, if you like, which I think is an interesting kind of idea. Um, you know, it's, it's a tight knit family unit. And I think obviously it's showing kind of how, how people are dealing with that. So it, it comes across as more of a kind of a supernatural drama rather than a horror per se. There are super supernatural elements in it. But it's not played for scares necessarily, other than kind of more dramatic moments. Um, on a technical side, I thought this movie was very well shot in regards to its kind of cinematography. I thought there's a great kind of mixture of kind of locales, um, you know, camera positioning, lighting, all that sort of stuff. On a technical side of stuff, I thought were well, pretty good. I do have one issue with some of the technical side, which I'll come on to. Um, the characters also seem, you know, for such a kind of a short movie, you kind of get a reasonable sense of the kind of the characters. And the the actual the actual idea of the story here, I feel, is pretty strong. And definitely could do, obviously, with fleshing out a little more uh, into a kind of a full-length feature. But I do have some critiques with this kind of short film. Uh, on a technical level, I found the sound design quite poor. Um, so this movie is currently still in kind of production, I feel. So... Yeah, I just found the kind of the sound design a little poor in this one. It's difficult to kind of make out what people are saying. I'm assuming again that will kind of improve on on a kind of a uh, um, post production or a kind of a full length feature. But other than that, the only other thing I would say is the the narrative structure, at least in this short film, is a little bit confused at times. I feel it's a little bit kind of. I mean, they, we're trying to cram a story into kind of like less than twenty minutes, so it's it's a tough bet, but. Uh, there's a lot of kind of flashback and kind of like flashing forwards and I found the way the kind of the narrative is told at least in the short was a, was potentially a little bit confusing now that might be different in the full feature uh, but certainly for this short there's lots of kind of jumping back and forth uh, and then kind of having kind of a bit of um, exposition given by sort of characters and stuff like that I didn't feel it quite uh, it felt a little bit jumbled to me uh, watching from as someone who has no affiliation with the kind of the production and has no idea what the story is about. It's a little hard to follow, even in kind of a, even in the kind of a short short film as it is. Um, acting wise, it's kind of like uh, I'm not really going to say too much. It's difficult to say. It's, it's too too little a kind of sample size. And like I've said, this is. Uh, really just kind of a, a short really but uh, I think the concept is pretty decent like I said it's not a horror film per se um, the the main feature may well be uh, a little bit more kind of uh, emphasized perhaps and it, as it stands it kind of reminds me of the, the kind of classic sort of style kind of ghost stories Weathering Heights that sort of thing although it is a contemporary film it's not a period piece 
so yeah, it, 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 I'd be interested to see the full feature. Um, we'll see how the kind of maybe, maybe my concerns are in that because it is the same crew maybe. So we'll have to see what happens in regards to um, to that. So yeah, it's worth a look if you like your kind of your classic paranormal dramas, I guess. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.